year has been a very, very big year for you. You've had a huge win over Overeem, but you faced some adversity in that fight. What did you learn from that fight and your ability to uh, weather the storm? Um, you know, I learned where I didn't want to be in the fight. Um, yeah, you know, just, you learn a lot about yourself when you put in a difficult situation and you pull through. Um, anybody does, everybody does. But, um, you know, just, you learn what you're about as a man and or as a woman in this sport. There's no, there's nobody else to blame but yourself, you know. Um, so what you see is, is what you get, and it's, and it's 100% real and honest. So um, I learned a lot about myself, but you know it doesn't. I already knew that about myself. I just proved that. I just proved it to everybody else. So yeah. And going up against Josh Barnett, he's been a veteran of the sport for quite some time. What? Where do you see yourself with your confidence level going into this fight? How ready do you feel? I've, I've fought veterans my entire career. I mean, people don't understand that complete training I've been any kind of martial arts has been five years. You know, I was a basketball player before that. So I'm number five in the world with five years under my belt. And uh, I have a long way to go. Every day I'm learning so much. Watching watching these women fight, watching, you know, growing up watching Anderson and, and even watching Josh fight, you learn a lot. And uh, every time I turn on the TV, watch a fight, or I go train, I learn so much. And that's the scary part, is that I have not even reached my potential yet. Thank you. By the way, that's a very nice sweater. I like that. It's, it's, it's not just a straightforward sort of thing. It's a little leather class. It's sort of a throwback to uh, a bit of the 80s fashion. I like it. <laughs> so, you know, just having having people here to support you, you know, it's always it's always what this uh, what this sport's about, and you know, people of Hawaii, the, the state that I come from, and the people that I come from, you know, the, there's so much respect there, you know, whether whether they're rooting for me to win or they're rooting for Josh to win, really doesn't matter to me. It's about the respect and having having your people there to to watch a, an event like that. And um, you know, I think uh, the the people of Hawaii need to understand too. Or I think they already understand that. You know, having having these boys in here, myself and all the other Hawaiians, Tavares, all the way and stuff is it's a tribute to hard work and dedication to something that we love. You know, and I think a lot of the generation these days are has to have stuff handed to them and it's unfortunate but um, you know I think uh, them coming over on a charter flight shows you know that, that we're making making noise in the UFC and in sports in general we just want to we just need to show that that it comes from hard work not just from somebody handing you something